Uh, kia ora, I'm uh, James Pryor, I'm a design engineer, um, product designer, and with Johnson we founded Paku. Yeah, kia ora koutou, ko Johnson with te toka inua. As uh, Jamie said, I'm a co-designer um, here at Paku, an organisation focused on, on designing, I think, bicultural products for, um, mm. for all kids in Aotearoa um, and beyond that for, for everyone in Aotearoa. I got invited to Jamie's work to talk about Māori design and, and how te ao Māori might be brought into design and during that I talked about my son going to Kohanya Reo and, um, and saying, you know, I, I said at this presentation, wouldn't it be awesome if our kids had tools and things from here that they could use and play with? And I mentioned the, um, the sandpit in particular and kind of Māori gardening tools and then three months later Jamie showed up at my house with some prototypes and uh, I could I was like, oh wow, this is happening, isn't it? And yeah. that, that, was, that yeah. was it. Well, I just thought it was a cool thing. It really sparked my imagination. And um, just, of course, why shouldn't this stuff exist? And I had, you know, I had the skills to do that, but not the, not the real capacity behind that to, to drive it forward. So when I produced those prototypes, drove up to Fielding and showed them to Johnson, and it just, it just felt right, the skill set that we both had together to make it a real, a real thing. The real drive was we wanted our kids to have this stuff and um, the fact that we were then able to provide that and create a business off the back of it was just just amazing. We just wanted to, to make sure that our kids, or to make sure all kids growing up in Aotearoa actually have things that are from here, you know, they grow up with, with tools or toys or bikes or whatever we decide to make, mm. that those things have some kind of cultural reference that you can expect to being from Aotearoa. We were really mindful at the start of doing the process right. You know, we know when the process is done well, particularly um, in a Māori design space, then the design part kind of comes easy, in a way. You know, because we, there's no way that we, we could put these things out if, if it wasn't something that our, that our people wanted you know, mm. to have. Even if, though we really want them for our kids, there's this wider community that we need to engage with when we're um, using Mātauranga Māori in our, in our mm. design. Yeah, we tried to treat it as a true engagement process. Like, there are gatekeepers that you have in design and you know, the aesthetic, the function, but we also treated that consultation with, with Māori as a real gatekeeper to the design process. What was exciting at the very start of, of showing them to Māori and our communities was how excited people were yeah. to see these things. Even when they looked, I think, more like the older customary tools, I was still like, this is really cool, this yeah. is really exciting. Just a real desire from people to be seen in the products that they own. Uh, if you looked around New Zealand, everything was designed and everything kind of had some connection to te ao Māori. So even though these have a really strong Māori influence, it's a big part of it, there's a kind of a big bicultural element, I think, to what we're producing as well. We really wanted this to be part of the landscape of products in New Zealand. We, we want this to be a bigger thing than just a, a set of gardening tools that we've made for Tamariki. We, we want Paku to be a much mm. bigger company. Having the support from the community and the, the, the drive from them to say, hey, these are great, when are these coming out? Um, it really helped us to propel the ideas forward. Lots of energy. We started with Kickstarter. It was wildly more successful than we were expecting. Way, way more successful. We thought we yeah. would get, you know, enough to pay for the first manufacturing run, but it was five times more than five times more than that. The money maybe got us got us in the black, I yeah, think. Yeah, just. You know, so we were like kind of just even. But it wasn't the money, it was a validation from the community, you know, that there was so much aroha for these tools and again it was each each time that the tools got validated again it kind of gave us a bit more of a burst of energy because yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, we b both had young families at the time and as we said, you know, we're doing this stuff at night times or around certain things so it was just nice to see that people really wanted these tools. Mm. We also went to Callaghan earlier on in the process as well and, and, and got support and, and feedback around just the project in general mm. and, and how we might kind of direct things. Yeah. So yeah, Callaghan have kind of always been there in the background a little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yep. And they helped us a lot with um, getting trademarks, getting um, our IP, getting yeah. our IP sorted, yeah. uh, a real big help with that. Yeah, yeah, still yeah. going strong, um, still make great sales, we've got um, new products in the, in the works, we've got new sales paths that we're trying to explore with our current products. Not that we don't think our current tools are only for tamariki, but we're looking at more adult based tools, um, trying to get them, trying to use more high-tech processes but with more customary materials rather than kind of the flip which was 
um, new materials with, with customary design. I think one thing that'll be different about Paku than lots of other, I guess, design places is that we're going to design whatever we think is cool next. Mm. You know, we're not going to do another tool just just because we've done a tool. We're not going to do, you know, we we just look at things around us and think, that would be really cool to change. Mm. Okay, let's work on that thing for a while. And I think we're going to, Paku, it's probably going to be confusing for some people when they look at it as an organisation and the things aren't going to be seemingly connected in terms of what we make, but they'll be connected through Mātauranga Māori yeah, and, yeah. and contemporary design practice. Using Mātauranga Māori and the kaupapa that we developed for um, our first products, just take it to anything. Any product that's in your life, why shouldn't it be seen through that lens as well?